Well, well, well. Doof got arrested. Behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. She says, let's make this open. Relationships are better when you leave out the hoping. Wish I could simply just tell her whatever we had is broken. But it always ends, but it always ends the same. What is up, guys? It is your boy, Scooter Brad here. We're here at T. One, the Terminal 1 to be specific, but I need to rewind this really quickly back to the beginning because I just flew here from New Zealand, I flew from Christchurch to Auckland to Hong Kong, here to Heathrow, London, and now I'm in somewhere in southern England, I don't know where I'm at, but this is T1. So without further ado, I need to rewind this back to the beginning, so we're going to go back right now. <laughs> To do, but it's your boy Finna here. My are back with some chicken fries right now from Burger King because I'm about to board my flight to Hong Kong. See the line just behind me here, and um, this is continuing pretty much straight away after I finished my last video. I literally walked downstairs, start this video, so this is the start of the new video, obviously. It's currently 11 19 p.m. on Thursday, the 19th of October, and I don't get to England until 3 15 p.m. on the 20th of October, minus a day because I'm going backwards across the world. A little bit of time traveling. Let's just get into the video. Ow. Currently praying that I get all three of these to myself. Oh my god, that would be the best. So I ended up getting the three seats, which was mad. So I actually got to stretch out and pretty much sleep the whole way to Hong Kong. I think I watched like two movies. I watched Harry Potter movies because they're my favorite. And yeah, I got tons of sleep, so I was chilling. Now successfully touched down in Hong Kong. The local time I think is about almost 6 a.m. My flight to England is at 9.30. You guys already know how the flight went. You know, pretty much got on the plane, ate some food, went to sleep, watched a couple movies, and now I just need to find some power outlets because my battery's almost dead on this. My battery's pretty much already dead on my laptop. And I also need to upload yesterday's video, which you've probably already seen, but I'm trying to find a lounge where I can plug all my stuff in. Here's the next problem. I don't have any adapters. Normally I would have adapters. I have about four adapters at home and I forgot all of them. Damn it. And it's so early in the morning that none of the damn shops are open. So if the, if the vlog from yesterday was late, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. Well, it kind of was. Your boy acquired this weird looking adapter thanger. I'm gonna go find somewhere nice to sit, maybe grab a bite to eat, plug in my computer, plug in my camera, my phone, everything. It's gonna be all charged up and then hopefully I've got enough battery to last me for the rest of the day. <laughs> Wish me luck. As a side note though, this airport is absolutely ginormous. Look outside. Look how many planes there are just, just outside. Just let me put this into perspective. Look at this. I mean, I'm going to gate two, but as if there's 500 gates in this airport. You must be joking. Come on, man. My upload's going to take 22 minutes and I got like maybe half an hour to spare. Upside. I had the whole aisle to myself on my second flight too. Nice. Had like a two hour drive back to Kai's house where I was staying and then the next morning, of course, I wake up and it starts raining. It's a shame too, it was so nice when I got here. Now that you guys are all caught up on what's happening, we need to get out there, let's go. All right guys, it's probably gonna be really hard to hear me. I'm pretty much shouting right now so that you guys can hear me. I might put some music over these clips, but I'm gonna show you guys around the course right now, let's go. the action right now the pro comp is about to start I'm actually emceeing the comp which is gonna be tight so stay tuned I'm gonna film a couple of the warm-up clips and then I'll get somebody else to film the runs and a little bit of my announcing too but damn like there's mad tricks going down right now I'll show you guys some clips right now two plus two is four minus one that's three quick maths everyday man's on the block smoke trees Are you gonna snap the whole thing or what? Yes. Snap it right now. Oh! 
Oh. Oh, oh no! How long have you been riding the deck for? About a year. About a year? That's pretty good for a whole year. Introduce yourself, Cree My name is Luke Creighton, and also known as Creighton I just came second place today in the interview. Oh, he's rocking the medal, he's rocking the medal. We've got Felix Percival. Hello. Hello, do a flare. 
One clip wonder, go. Oh, yes! What is that? All right, Kareen, you're up. Go Kareen A of the spine. Go, 180 the spine. <laughs> I knew he'd stack it, that's why I told him to do it. I've never used one of these things. Stripping down. No way. I don't know how to... I feel like my filming's so shit. Yo. Wait, how do you zoom in? Oh, I figured it out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, I'm so zoomed in. Zoom out, zoom out. I'm zooming right into your face. <laughs> Every time I go over the spine, I always do this. So I'm not gonna do that. I always go like, not gonna do that. I get you. Okay, I'll do it once. <laughs> I'll go like, bar front feet, 270 bar, come back up the spine, I'll do like whip bar or triple whip. I'll do front 50, 270 tap, and then a butter. Yeah. Zooming in. Yo. Oh. Good stand. Oh. Oh, that was front side, my dude. Oh. I rate the front side, Steve. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Do you know who Jack Doubt is? No? Yeah, man. Zoom in. Then. Yo, he does it. What's he got? He does the switch of move. Far, full blunt. Yo, that was nice. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, I can't do that trick. I like that trick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, put me off with my buttercup. Do you ready? I'll do it right now. Oh, yeah, all right. Hey, that's for me. Yeah, man. Untuck your shirt. It's not focusing. What does he look like? Oh god, did you see that? <laughs> Untuck your shirt! Your boy just got mad here, Bruce, on that buttercup, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna set this up like standard. I'm gonna jump the step up a couple of times, and then I think we're just gonna roll out because I'm super hungry, man. I need some food. Well. Like I was saying, we're gonna film some Instagram clips and then I'm gonna get food and head home, edit this vlog and post it, hopefully on time, but I don't know how I feel about it being on time. I don't think it's gonna happen, but fingers crossed that it is. Well, well, well. Doof got arrested. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but uh, Jack Dad apparently got arrested at the Brisbane Street Jam yesterday, which in all honesty doesn't surprise me. But I'm going to check out some of the news footage right now and pretty much just give you my two cents on like what I think is going down. So let me just set this up real quick and I'm going to download some footage for you guys and I'm going to show you all of the existing news footage, okay? <laughs> Doof got arrested. Yeah, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw your story. Yeah. <laughs> like, the tabloids got pretty much everything in the story wrong, though. Really? Yeah. Like, can, I see, can I see what they've... I haven't looked at this. Yeah, hey, like hey, come sit. You can react to it with me. Hey, Jack. Jack down. Free bro. I'm the one that got arrested! I'm the one that got arrested! Like, yeah, attention-seeking much or what? All it seems to me is just, he just got detained. I don't know why. Do you know why? He... Apparently he got detained because he was being a public nuisance. And then he posted something on his story like, fresh out the cell, but like, oh, he no, never got, yeah, he so, never got taken so, so. to the police station or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, he just got put in the van. He got detained. He just I got put in, called, yeah. yeah, he got detained. Yeah. He didn't get arrested. He just yeah. got detained. And like, the reason why they put him in the van was just to calm down the crowd because the crowd was going nuts. I yeah. my camera, they grabbed it by the microphone and twisted it out. 
out. They picked Lovely. me up and just like threw me in. The Scooter Rider has 150,000 followers on Instagram. I have 173. <laughs> I don't condone any violence, no, but like, we, we're it's not on your... Let me just put this forward, okay? Why do you think all the kids were riding all across the road and ignoring the police and ignoring people that were on the streets? Why do you think that is? Because Jack only makes vlogs where he annoys people in public. And the kids watch them, and then they want to do the exact same thing. The fact that he, I mean, he says he doesn't condone violence, which I guess is true, but he definitely condones this sort of behavior. Well, it's out of our control. Same thing, like, it's completely under your control. If you were putting yourself across as a good influence, telling people to not mm. behave in such a way, like, this kind of thing wouldn't go down. I've oh, never been to the street jam, I just yeah. say. I really want to go to one. I mean, they're fun oh, until this happens. One. Yeah. The bus one. Yeah. And there was plenty. Yeah, was someone got throat punched with the cop. Some no, Hey, right. yeah, nah, someone got, like, some dude in, like, a, a fedora. He legit <laughs> got, like, clocked by one of the cops. <laughs> I'll play the clip, yeah. He legit got so clocked, like, I'll try to yeah. find the clip in a bit, but, yeah. So he just yeah. got detained, he didn't get arrested, yeah. and this is the Did part Did he even get it. handcuffed? They just, it just no, they just, they just the grab him. Yeah. Okay, so that was the first one, and then there's a clip that he actually posted on his Instagram I saw, I saw that he laid... stole off my wall. Oh, Because My Miles Allen, look, I posted it on my wall, and what he did? downloaded it and reposted it, and you can tell that it's a repost because yeah, the quality is, like, terrible, yeah. but... Oh, you want to get in on this? So Jack yeah. Bell being arrested. Right. Well, arrested. Okay. So this this is the clip here that he stole off me and then posted on on his Instagram. I saw it on your story, then I looked on his Instagram. Yeah, I put it on my story yeah. too, and he put it up yeah. as leaked footage yeah, and, yeah, and tagged that. some random. Didn't even tag me. Like I was the one that posted it. But all right, this is the next one. This one was posted by Nine News. By a squad mounted on scooters. <laughs> Scooter, Hundreds of young ready. riders swarm the Brisbane CBD, ignoring the rules, riding on the wrong side of the road, shutting down streets with police in pursuit. <laughs> Officers intercept the mob at Eagle Street, attempting to break them up. The Scooter Gang resists. The Scooter Gang. Scooter Gang. <laughs> the police wrestle with their underage... There's the, there's the oh, king here. Oh, he oh, got yeah. clocked, man. And I'm like, man, go flying back Wait, in on I that thought I was Arrests man. were made, including <laughs> Jack Downs. Jack Downs. I'm like, mate, I'll jump in this. Like, I'll step in nice, but he picks me up and he throws me in there. The Instagram celebrity... And he throws, throws me in there. Okay. Let's just go back to the, the clip That's where he so actually cool. gets put in. <laughs> Sorry, when did he get thrown in? Because he just got put yeah. in the van, just like anyone else. I swear, like, you didn't get thrown in. It twice. was a headline act at the event called the Brisbane Street Jam, a scooter rally through the streets, a call to arms to his 160,000 followers, and a rolling riot was born. <laughs> rolling riot. After half an hour of cops versus kids, the arrested riot. riders were released. <laughs> The jam continued. Oh, no. <laughs> the police Who's keeping that? an eye over the event. Them. We're just riding around and then yeah, like they just tried breaking us all up and stuff, sending us on our way, but you know, the street jam, you know, it's gotta continue. I'm told this is the fourth Brisbane Yo. street jam Yo. and easily the biggest Yo. numbers attending far exceeded expectations that made it hard to control and probably the where the trouble started. And it just like got out of control. Like we knew like it was like, as soon as people on the road like, knew there was like it was wrong, you know, like it, we, we, we should be like um, on the road and stuff. Despite the drama We shouldn't be on the road and stuff is what he says. We shouldn't be on the road. <laughs> yeah. How many times have you seen Jack Dow riding down the street? Yeah Hey, that many times. Breaking the speed limit. But we shouldn't be on the road. <laughs> Breaking the speed limit like fifty K, sixty K's an hour, twenty five K. Okay. I should get a speedometer, like one of those things that records your speed and put it on my bars and record how fast you don't have to try keep beating my personal record, like you know, try to go 50k's and 55, 60, etc. 50k's and 55, 60. And see if I can break like a specific speed limit. <laughs> So, okay, so other than that, I DM'd, or Regan Austin DM'd me, he's the owner of Syndicate Street Store, and they were the ones that organized the street jam. They got literally no credit on any of the, any of the news articles, which is, it's kind of boof because, like, they are the ones that actually deserve the credit because they're a retail store and they put on the street jam to obviously, like, promote their business. And he said to me, he said, he sent me the, the clip and he said, have you seen this? I was like, yeah, I'm all over it. He's like, yeah, man, WTF. I was like, yeah, he took all the credit for organizing your jam. How did the cops even get involved? He screams, 
I'm the one that got arrested, then acts like they threw him in the paddy wagon, and I said, yeah, it was pretty cringe. One, you didn't get thrown in the paddy wagon, okay? Stop overhyping it. Two, you say you don't condone this sort of behavior, but obviously, watching his vlogs, you know that he does condone that behavior, so, like, if you just want to say that, like, we're savages. You know, I thought he was gonna so pull, savage. like, a Jake Paul and jump up on the news van and go all <laughs> yeah, nuts and yeah. shit. That's what I thought he was gonna do, but, and I mean... Three, why is he called a paddy wagon? What is paddy wagon? A paddy what wagon. Oh, that's what they call them. We never paddy had wagon. We, never, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What do you never, What do you call it over here? A police van? I yeah, yeah. Like, like a, <laughs> I think that's an Australian. I think that's an Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason why he got grabbed and got thrown in the van was because he was being a public nuisance, he was hyping up the crowd and they were going too wild and they were riding on the streets and they saw him as the organizer and condoner of the event. That's why he got put in the van. Obviously he wasn't the organizer of the event, he was just one of the attendants of the event. They pretty much like, they wanted to settle down the crowd and the only way to do that was to remove Jack from the situation. And then obviously he decides to hype it up and put it on the news like, I was the one that got arrested. Uh, arrested. Interview me. Yeah. More subscribers, yeah. please. Over Give here. Like, I was the one who got arrested. <laughs> It's yeah. funny because Claudius was standing there in that clip and you didn't even see him piping well, up. What do sponsors think that? I feel like Claudius has like some sort of like line, like morally. Like, yeah, he does the kids and the kid like entertaining <laughs> Wait, stuff. Yeah. yeah, he does the kids. <laughs> <laughs> he does like the whole like, you know, he has like the children's show of YouTube scootering. But like, he even he wasn't standing there like, hey, yeah, yeah. you know, going all nuts and stuff. I would have expected him to go a little bit wild on the news. But yeah, what do his sponsors think about that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. What do his sponsors think? Is he just sponsored by Urban Art? And, Urban Art, uh, Ripper... But like, okay, so here's yeah, another thing, right? Here's happening. another thing. One of uh, my personal friends who runs the Bandy Scoot Instagram, very low-key, he commented on Jack's Instagram post where he reposted the clip that I'd posted without crediting me, again. He said something along the lines of like, good, like finally he got arrested because you can't get away with this sort of thing forever. Mm. And even Wesma liked the comment. Really? Wesma liked the comment. His filmer. I, I shout out to Wes though because I actually, I think he's a cool guy. I think I think he's very down to earth. I don't know how you feel about him, but in, from <laughs> someone who doesn't like speak to him or anything, I feel like yeah. he's very grounded. He knows right and wrong. Whereas Jack would be like Jack does shout out line, but Wes can understand that he's done wrong. Whereas Wes wouldn't be like fully like oh no, Jack's in the right, Jack's in the right. That's how I. That's how I see Yeah, well, you'd think that about Wisma. I thought that about Wisma too, and like, me and him had plans to do videos and stuff when I went to Australia last time, and then he completely dropped like a diss video on me. Did you see that? I saw, I saw that he said that, My um, opinion on Scooter yeah, Brand, yeah, and it was that. like four minutes of the end, at the end of a Q&A, where he got his own brother to ask the question on Instagram. What's your opinion of Scooter Brad? Like, oh, no, like he went out of his way to put that question in his Q and A. Oh, like, no kids were actually asking that question. So, like, he went out of his way to do that, which was pretty whack. These are the things that people don't like realize. But like, and yeah, like, like I said, we were supposed to do videos, and then he do he dropped a diss video on me and completely bailed, and now he's jacked out to film it. Was that all planned or? But anyway, I, that's enough of this for the time being. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow Luke Creighton and Sorry. the Creightonator. Sorry. The crate. You guys will, we'll probably make an insta clip today. So by the time you're watching this, I've probably posted an insta clip and they'll have tags, so make sure you go and like it and follow them as well. Get them some clout. But yeah, uh thanks so much for watching guys. It's been your boy SB. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh if you didn't see yesterday's video, you can click up in the cards and watch that. And uh yeah. Free er Jack down. Arrested AF. <laughs> Free Jack down. And when we get together, she says let's make this open. Relationships are better when you leave out the hoping. Wish I could simply just tell her whatever we had is broken.